Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will look at Web Identity Federation with AWS Cognito. Go to YouTube, find this Azure Cloud Chef channel, hit on the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video as soon as I upload it. Thank you. What is Web Identity Federation? Web Identity Federation lets you create custom sign-in code or manage your own user identities. Users of your app can sign in using a well-known extent identity provider such as login with Amazon, Facebook, Google or any other OpenID Connect compatible IDP. They can receive an authentication token and then exchange that token for temporary security credentials in AWS that map to an IAM role with permissions to use the resources in your AWS account. Using an IDP helps you keep your AWS account secure because you don't have to embed and distribute long-term security credentials with your application. Let us take a scenario. Imagine that you are creating a mobile app that accesses AWS resources such as game that runs on a mobile device and stores player and score information using Amazon S3 and DynamoDB. When you write such an app, you will make a request to AWS services that must be signed in with an AWS access key. However, we strongly recommend that you do not embed or distribute long-term AWS credentials with applications that a user downloads to a device, even in an encrypted store. Instead, build your app so that it requests temporary AWS security credentials dynamically when needed using Web Identity Federation. The supplied temporary credentials map to an AWS role that has only the permissions needed to perform the task required by the mobile app. What is Amazon Cognito? Well, to achieve the identity federation, Amazon has launched Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito lets you add user sign up, sign in, and access control to your web and mobile apps quickly and easily. Amazon Cognito scales to millions of users and supports sign in with social identity providers such as Facebook, Google, and Amazon and enterprise identity providers via SAML 2.0. Amazon Cognito provides authentication, authorization, and user management for the web and mobile apps. Your users can sign in directly with a username and password or through a third party such as Facebook, Amazon, or Google. The two main components of Amazon Cognito are user pools and identity pools. User pools are user directories that provide sign up and sign in options for the application. Identity application users i'm sorry and the identity pools enables you to grant your users access to other aws services you can use identity pools and user pools separately or together well to explain this here is a short scenario in the first step uh, the app user signs in through a user pool it signs in through the user pool and gets a successful authentication it gets a token. Next, the app exchanges the user pool token or for AWS credentials through an identity pool. Here, finally, the app user can then use those AWS credentials to access other AWS services, services uh, like Amazon S3 or DynamoDB. What are Amazon Cognito user pools? A user pool is a user directory in Amazon Cognito with a user pool. Your user can sign into the web or mobile app through Amazon Cognito and through other social identity provider, Facebook, Google. And whether your users sign in directly or through a third party, all members of the user pool have a directory profile that you can access through an SDK. Working of a user pool. After successfully authenticating a user, Amazon Cognito issues JSON web tokens, which is JWT, that you can use to secure and authorize access to your own APIs or exchange for AWS credentials. Amazon Cognito Identity Pools, also known as Federated Identities. Amazon Cognito Identity Pools enables you to create unique identities for your users and federate them with identity providers. With an identity pool, you can obtain temporary limited privilege AWS credentials to access other AWS services. Identity pool features. Amazon Cognito Identity Pool support the following identity providers. Amazon Cognito Identity Pools enables you to create unique identities and assign permissions for users. You can Your identity pool can include users in an Amazon Cognito user pool. It can also include users who authenticate with external identity providers such as Facebook. 
It can also include users authenticated via your own existing authentication process. It can also include users with an identity pool. You can obtain temporary AWS credentials with permissions you define to directly access other AWS services or to access resources through Amazon API Gateway. So this was the brief uh, intro for the Web Identity Federation with AWS Cognito. Till next time, have a great day ahead.